So you want bigger legs, but you don't know where to start. Maybe truthfully, you hate leg day, but you know you should be training them for an overall well-rounded physique. Well, here's the no BS advice. The only three leg exercises you need to develop big, well-rounded tree trunk legs, as well as glutes, that can be completed in as little as 30 minutes, depending on your volume. So with that said, let's get into it. Ooh. So, first exercise we're gonna be doing is a quad by squat. Now in the case of a barbell, that means we're gonna be doing a squat in as upright of a position as possible. However, if you decide to use a hack squat or a leg press, this would simply mean that you would take a flow foot placement as opposed to a high one, which would be more glute biased. So this is gonna be our main anterior leg focus exercise, meaning our main quad exercise. I like to think of these type of movements as pushing exercises for our legs. Later on, we're gonna be doing more pulling exercises to tackle more of our posterior chain. Now on top of your quads, this exercise will also train your glutes. It's contrary to, I guess you can call it popular belief because I hear it enough, a squat isn't gonna train your hamstrings. The reason why is your hamstrings can't really sufficiently stretch and contract on this exercise, similar to the case of the rectus femoris, which isn't really hit unless you're doing a leg extension or a Bulgarian split squat. Now a key thing to note for this exercise is the setup. You want the bar to be at around chest height, and when you rack it, so when you go come under the bar, the bar should lay firmly on your traps, not your spine or not the back of your neck. On top of that, because you're dealing with such heavy weight, you want to be as efficient as possible on your walkout. Meaning after you unrack the bar, you want to take one step back, another step back to level the plane, and then a third step to the side to gauge your foot stance. Shoulder width is a good standard. And then once you have your stance down, you want to go into the actual rep. Now in the concentric, you should try to control it for at least one to two seconds. And you wanna think about having your hips and knees move in unison with each other. A common problem when people press back up, they end up extending their knees first, rather than in their hips, causing the bar to cave forward. And that's where you run into lower back pain issues or you know instability issues where you have to throw the bar in front of you. So to counteract that, I always recommend when you're squatting, think about thrusting through your hips just so you really accentuate that hip extension so that it follows your knees as well. Now one more thing that's gonna be important for pretty much all these exercises is diaphragmatic breathing. It's essentially you're breathing from your gut. You do this in order to create core stability when you do a squat, when you do say a deadlift, that sort of exercise. How it essentially looks is you take a deep breath so that your abdomen expands and then you slightly crunch your core up as if someone's gonna punch you. It's gonna be a natural tightness. Now if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do the squat, I made an excellent video about the best beginner lower body workout that you should check out. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up for the squat. Let's move on to the next exercise. Ooh. All right, so the second exercise we're gonna be doing is now a posterior chain exercise, and that is the Romanian deadlift. And you might be wondering why we're choosing a Romanian deadlift as opposed to a conventional deadlift. And the reason being is the Romanian deadlift is overall a better exercise for hypertrophy compared to the conventional deadlift. Reason being is the conventional deadlift off the ground is pretty much a concentric only exercise where you do the deadlift and then you kind of just drop it. There's no eccentric phase because you're using such heavy weight. However, with the Romanian deadlift, because you're starting in the standing position and you're lowering first, you can actually have a controlled eccentric when doing this exercise. And because you get to actually control that lowering phase, as well as probably work at a higher rep range, you're able to expose the muscles into overall more tension compared to if you're only doing a conventional deadlift where there's no eccentric. Now, as mentioned, this is a posterior chain exercise, meaning we're gonna be biasing the hamstrings predominantly, as well as the 
glutes. And the way to make this exercise either more hamstring versus glute dominant has to do with the degree of knee bend you have. Now, to talk about the depth of this exercise, some people say go to your knees, go below your knees. To me, that isn't the best advice because your, everyone's anatomy is different. Instead, you should focus on stopping at the point where you can no longer send your hips more back. Because any lower than that is likely going to work more of your erectors rather than further getting a stretch on your glutes or hamstrings. And then if you want a more hamstring focused exercise, you can do what's known as a stiff leg deadlift where you're keeping your knees much more straight so that you're only pretty much hinging at the hips and inherently you're going to stop higher on this exercise compared to a conventional Romanian deadlift. A big limiting factor on this exercise is going to be your grip. Now there's various grips you can take. You can take a double overhand grip but if that's not enough grip for you then I recommend taking an alternate grip with one hand being underhand. Now the biggest cheat code is using lifting straps so you take your grip out of the movement. Now this exercise can also be done with dumbbells or a Smith machine, but I'm doing the classic barbell just out of habit. And that's pretty much the RDL. Now before we move on to the next exercise, I wanna mention, if you wanna take all the guesswork out of getting to your fitness goals, and basically have me provide you a custom workout program, custom meal plan so you know exactly what to eat and work out, as well as even weekly check-ins and the ability to message me all your questions, then I highly recommend you apply to my exclusive one-on-one -on -one fitness coaching program where I do pretty much just that. I basically take off all the obstacles for you getting to your fitness goals, minus the execution part. You guys still have to put in the work, but definitely apply it in the link in the description right now, especially since it's summer. So let's get back to the content. The third exercise we're going to be doing is going to be a hip thrust for predominantly biasing our glutes. Now our glutes have been playing a role in the past two exercises, but they're not necessarily the main focus of those first two exercises. The squat was more for the quads, RDL is more for the hamstrings, which is essentially why I'm tacking this as the third exercise, because guys want glutes too. Now, I'm doing this exercise with a barbell today because of limited equipment. However, my favorite variation is actually using a machine. It's like this belted machine from Nautilus because that's gonna be a much more stable exercise compared to using a barbell here. However, something that also works very well is a Smith machine. I'd actually take those two variations over this barbell. However, across all of them, the setup is pretty much the same. You definitely wanna use some sort of hip pad or a mat so that you're not grinding your hips. And a common problem with this exercise is allowing your hips to fall back. So similar to an ab crunch, you want to maintain some sort of spinal flexion when you're doing the hip thrust. You don't want to go into extension and have your hips fall back. That's where you would kind of run into a little bit of lower back pain, or maybe you won't even feel as much in your glutes. Now, once again, if you want more thorough explanation on all these exercises, I recommend you check out that best lower body workout for beginner video where I pretty much explain all this stuff in great detail. But that's the third exercise, but wait, there's gonna be a fourth bonus exercise for those that really want to build a well-rounded lower body. Let's move on. Now real quick, if you didn't know, Abel dropped these five inch inseam shorts in this charcoal color, as well as a new fitted top. I have the black one on right now, but they also come from like navy and a really nice gray. Kind of more of that Lululemon type of vibe. So if you're interested, don't forget to use code PATH at checkout for an extra 10% off. Let's get back to it. Now the fourth exercise we're gonna be doing, the bonus exercise, is a standing calf raise for our calves. By standing calf raise, what I really mean is just a straight-legged calf raise, so you can do one seated as long as your knees are straight. This is gonna bias the biggest part of the calf, which is the gastrocnemius. If you do a seated calf raise with your knees bent, that's gonna be biasing more of the soleus. Now a very important note on this exercise is making sure that your calves get a really good stretch at the bottom position. You don't wanna be bouncing kinda of like a rabbit when you're doing calf raises. Instead, for some reason with calf raises, people think it's like you have to inherently train it differently, but but the reality is you treat it like any other muscle group. You want a controlled eccentric phase followed by an explosive concentric phase and you want to take it through a range of motion, ideally in a more stretched position. So that's pretty much as simple as it gets when it comes to the calf raise. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That is the only three plus 
fourth exercise that you need to build bigger legs. Keep it very bare bones, simple like that if you hate leg day. We hit the quads, we hit the hamstrings, we hit the glutes, as well as the calves. So that's pretty much all you need. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you want to support my page. Hit subscribe to level up your physique. And we'll be getting back into the gym. Peace.